Hey, yo, what's up, gamers? Welcome back to another video. It's me again, Bullet Slurred Tower. Um, currently, my computer is uh, positioned on my dresser, and um, I, I, it's, it's too short for me somehow. Anyways, today I wanted to share with you guys some words that have gone stuck in my head, because if you're a human being and you know how to speak words, you would know. Like, the, that, the, that a lot of the time there are words that get stuck in your head. And so I wanted to make a video briefly explaining some words that have gone stuck in my head throughout my life. And I, I wanted to share the meanings with you guys. This is a very informative, very good video. Um, in Ryan Uh, number one. Immunocompromised. If you know me, you know that I watch a lot of medical dramas. And so I pick up a few funny words, like immunocompromised. Basically, it just means a weak when like someone has a weakened immune system or their immune system doesn't work. They are immunocompromised. Their immune system does not function properly, and that's bad, usually. Word number two: articulate. When someone can speak properly, properly and clearly. When someone can express their thoughts clearly. Now I remember last year. I had to do this thing for my school where I had to talk to some people and like persuade that lady that the school that my school is a good school and the lady she remembered me because she, like she described me to another one of the teachers as having the having the and being articulate. She was referring to me having bangs and being able to speak properly as opposed to the other kids who do not know how to speak proper English. They speak properly in English. At my new school, people can speak properly. That's cool. Um, number two on this, I mean, number three on this list. Unequivocally. Unequivocally is my favorite word. I like it. It means, like, like without a doubt. Something's like unequivocally. Like, unequivocally something. Like, without a doubt, whatever. Like, what's an example? I can't think of any examples. Okay, number four, intrinsically. Intrinsically is a cool word. I like it. It means like, like something that like natural, like naturally occur, like something. How do I describe it again? Belonging to something like essentially, like essentially belonging to something naturally, like, like. A key factor of something. I guess. Um, I don't mind my beard, by the way, in the background. I swear, it is made. It's just the sheets are messy. Because I, I folded the sheets down. But it is made. I'm not lazy. Um, number... The next one on this list. Um, octogenarian. A person who is in their 80s. Don't know why I remember that word, but I do. I've never used it ever. What is? Okay, next word. This word gets stuck in my head a lot. Convoluted. When something is like a hard to grasp, grasp concept, like a very, very intricate thingy. When something's like convoluted, I guess. Um, next one. Necrotizing fasciitis. It's it's a bacterial infection, um, and the bacteria, it like attacks your soft tissue, and the bacteria multiplies, and it like releases like toxins and en enzymes that like deteriorate the skin's tissue, and that's that sucks and. skin eats itself basically um the soft tissue does i mean uh, next word illuminate when something gets brighter like that light in my room it's illuminated look and i can turn lights off and on now the room has been illuminated um next word arduous and strenuous actually they both mean like the same thing you know Strenuous means arduous, and arduous means strenuous, requiring a lot, requiring a lot of effort, I guess. 
when something requires a lot of effort. Strenuous, tiresome effort. Um, next word. Hmm. Oh, vindicate. Vindicate. When you prove someone right. Someone right. Someone right. When, when you prove someone is right. Mm, next word. Oblique. We learned this word in product design class. When you're like drawing a thing and you can draw the, the angles at 45 degree angles to make it a three dimension shape. That's oblique. Next word. Oh, I like this word too. Eloquence. It's so fun to say eloquent, eloquence, eloquence. I like it. It's a funny word to say. And it, it's, it's sort of like articulate but different because it's articulate it's like being able to speak clearly like you're able to convey your thoughts properly but then eloquent it's like being able to like speak fluently similar but i think that there is a difference because like i think that articulate is the words that you speak but eloquence is like the way that you say it and how you can speak fluently um next word on this list Exasperated, like oh, like oh, that's a nice word. Am I right? Exasperated. It means when you're irritated or frustrated, which is how I feel sometimes. But let's be real, we all feel like that sometimes. Everyone gets irritated. That's normal, I guess. Some more than others. Um. Next word on this list: grotesque. I learned this word back in 2019, our teacher was teaching us some new words and grotesque was one of them. Like if it's like really like, and it's like, it's like, it's like strange and unappealing looking, I guess. Um, grotesque. All, oh yeah, that's right. Marilyn Manson's album, The Golden Age of Grotesque. Amazing album. I love it. Um, are there any other words? Comment down your fa- comment down below your favorite funny word that gets stuck in your head a lot. Um, lucrative. Lucrative. When you're looking to- f when- when you're- when- when something is lucrative. It's, it's, it's a thing about an item. It's when it's, you find the, th the lucrative. You know what it means. Lucrative. When something's, it's like, it's, it's like, it's. When it's sought after, that's, that's what I was looking for, right? Highly sought after, lucrative, same thing, similar. Bradycardia. I have that. It's when your heart beats really, 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 really slow. You know? Like, my heart rate, it's like, bump. 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 Yeah, 39 beats per minute. That's pretty cool, don't you guys think? I know some people who have like tachycardia. Isn't that the opposite? The other, the opposite of the other one, and it's like when your heart beats like really, really fast, like, blah, 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 like that's terrifying. I cannot sleep with that. I like bradycardia because it's like it's a really nice soothing sound. Like you're trying to go to sleep, right? And it's just nice. It's calming. I enjoy it. Anyways, that's all for now. Comment down below your favorite word. Make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you get all the latest updates. Bye, guys.